Today, we are going over my top five automation tools for credit repair. Now, this video is for you if you have a credit repair business and you are trying to increase productivity and decrease the amount of time because obviously time is money. Now, these are the ones that we're going to go over and you can access the links to each of these down in the description. And while you're there, make sure to like this video if you find it valuable. All right. So here we go. Phrase Express and Phrase Expander. Flukzu and Airslate, Mouse Recorder Pro and Mouse Recorder Play, Ubot Studio, as well as Tast. I threw that one in um, after I actually created the slide. And lastly, Airtable. Now I use each of these every single day except for Ubot Studio and Tast. Now the main question is, well, why automate when you could just do everything yourself, right? Well, I mean, if you are cool with giving up a ton of hours and a ton of money, then that's totally on you. But for me, it literally saves me hours and even days of work every single month so that, you know, I can put my focus in other places, right? Now, not everything can be automated though. So you can automate the things that are recurring tasks that you don't need to intervene with. Now, let me just give you a credit repair example. So when you're using like templates and it doesn't matter what type of template, but anything that is stored in the computer where you don't need to write it right then, those things can be automated, right? Because you're just taking information from a database and basically exporting it into the letter for lack of better description, right? Now, when you're using factual disputes, you have to take those facts directly from the credit report and put it in there. That cannot be automated. That is human intervention. So that's the difference between something you can automate and something that you can't. So keep that in mind when you're trying to use these or anything else for automation. So here's the first one, Phrase Express. And this is the one that, um, that I run most of the time. Uh, it's always running on, uh, excuse me, running in the background on my computer. So they do have a free version phrase expander. I'm not too sure about because I do have the paid professional plan. So you'll have to look at that one yourself, but moving on. The reason I use this tool is because it saves me about 15 hours per month using both of these, but mainly Phrase Express. So they allow me to use text snippets and write an entire dispute letter in like five clicks or less than 20 seconds. Obviously, you know, you got to go in and put the, the facts and all that, but the main letter, you can literally just a couple of seconds, boom, you got your letter, right? You can also send out emails. It can, you can use your macro recorder. There's so many things that you can do. You can create an, a whole workflow with like a hundred different steps. It's like the coolest thing since Wonder Bread. You have to go check it out. And like I said, they do have a free version. Now, then there's business process automation tools. So there's a, there's a huge difference between um, robotic automation and business process automation. Um, so Flokzoo is business process automation tool, right? It's $21 per month per user. And then Airslate, it does have a free version. It's otherwise $30 per month for the advanced features. So the reason that I use this is because um, it allows you to be reminded, I guess you can say, um, of a task. And then once you check off that it's been done, it will now go to the next step in the process, whether that is notifying someone else or sending out a contract, sending out an email, whatever your next step is. So it's really, really cool. You can use web hooks and a bunch of other stuff in there. So it allows you to connect different data and tools without coding. And it also lets you create bots that do different things after an action occurs with Airslate. So an example of this would be to send out an email with Gmail after a new row has been added or updated in Google Sheets. So that's the difference between those two. Now, um, the next one is very, very simple like super, super simple. It's like a two second download and you can just go Google this one. I don't think that I put this in the list um, in the description. So Mouse Recorder Pro is a macro tool basically, and it will record your actions on your screen as well as your clicks and your keyboard. So the main reason for using this is so that you can go and automate a task, save the script, and then loop it. So instead of just running it one time, you can run it 20, 100, 250, however many times, or you could just run it 
infinitely until you turn it off. Now, the way that I use this is for super simple things like if I have a bunch of um, analyzers that I need to send out, like I already did them, they're already in the computer, and I just need to go and click send, 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 send. I will go and record it once, and then I will say, okay, well, I've got 10 of them to send out, and I will loop it for 10, um, 10 loops, basically, right? Uh, another way that I use it is when I am uh, printing envelopes with stamps.com using their app on my desktop. What I'll do is I will record myself um, printing one set of envelopes, let's just say for um, Experian. And then I'll say, okay, well, I want 20 or 50 or 100 printed. And that's it. I loop it 100 times. So this allows for you to go let your computer ghost fingers do what it does on the computer while you go and set up for the next thing that you're doing, or you go take a call, or you go get a coffee, or you talk to your spouse, whatever. It's really, really cool because it's so, so simple. Now, the other tool, there's a, there's a super, super advanced, awesome tool. It's called the macro tool inside of Phrase Express. So when you download Phrase, Phrase Express, go and check out the top bar. I think it's on the right but it'll say macro with like a big recording, um, like red button. And it does have a demo and everything. But the cool thing about this is that you can actually insert the recording with the macro right into a phrase that you create and it becomes part of your automated workflow. All right, so let's go to the next one. So these are more advanced and I actually like these the least. And UBot Studio is one of the very, very, very first automation programs or tools um, that I, I really invested time and um, money into, you know, kind of playing with. Now, they do have a free community edition, or at least they did at the time that um, I first checked them out. I'm currently using their, what is it? I believe it's the professional version. They have standard professional and then whatever their top one is, like enterprise or something. So these are, like I said, more advanced. You can create bots that run as their own programs. Like you'll record whatever it is, you program it, you set it up, and then um, you can even just like save it on your desktop. So you just click it once and now your bot will run by itself. So I know a lot of people actually set these up um, per, you know, a custom order and then they actually sell them. So this is something that um, does not require the actual software on your computer to run. So you can set this up, um, you can email it to yourself, put it on your laptop so that, you know, when you're out or whatever, you're on vacation, you're on a business trip, you can just open up your uh, file explorer and you know double click it and it'll run it'll do whatever you programmed it to do and then it'll close and um this was also one of the first programs that allowed automation without coding um that's the biggest part of this you don't know you don't need to know how to code but it would make it a lot easier for you now there's a totally free alternative to UBOT Studio and it's called TAST. Um, you'll find the link in the description as well. And it's easier to use than UBOT Studio, but it's still um, more advanced. Now we have the last one and it's one of my favorites. If you know me, if you know anything about me, if you've seen any of my um, older products, you'll know that they were built on Airtable. And it's because it's a uh, basically a super robust spreadsheet in a browser on steroids. And if you've ever used it before, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So um, it, it literally includes these apps like right out of the box that can be used um, or added into whatever you're building on the spreadsheet. They used to be called blocks, but I'm pretty sure now it just says apps in the top right of the screen when you're um, using or building something there. Uh, their newest feature after introducing custom scripts is actually automation. So it allows you to kind of like with AirSlate, you can choose to update something after, you know, like, or send, send an email after a row or a record is updated or run the script after, you know, this is done. So it's do this than that type of deal. And it's super easy to use. Um, not as easy as Master Recorder Pro, but that's because it just has record, loop, and run. Um, this is, like I said, um, a super robust spreadsheet in a browser on steroids. So uh, you can literally build full apps with this 
um, you know, a lot of people don't like the spreadsheet look because it's just super, super simple. They're not used to using like more of like a back end product. But if you don't mind that, then you really should check this out. So um, those are the tools that I use, Airtable, Tast, Ubot Studio, uh, Floksu, Airslate, Phrase Expander, and Phrase Express. If I missed one, sorry. Uh, so those are the tools that I use. Most of them are used every single day on my computer, except for, like I mentioned in the beginning, Ubot Studio and Test. I probably use those like maybe once a month. The others are literally every single day and most definitely Phrase Express. So um, that is the end of this video. But if you would like to find some awesome do-it-yourself credit repair resources, use the link on the screen, in the description, and in the comments and go check out the free subscribe hub. This will teach you how to use factual disputes how to do a credit sweep, and what you should be looking for to increase your results as well as your credit scores. Now, if this is just kind of like overwhelming and maybe you just don't want to do this yourself, you don't want to deal with credit repair, or credit sweeps, disputes, the bureaus, creditors, collectors, I don't blame you. It's a lot. It is a lot of work. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of money and it's a lot of um, mental investment. So if you want to see if I can help you, um, you can schedule a one-to-one -one discovery call, totally free, with me directly to see if I can take over your file and do it for you using the link on every single slide that um, I just kind of left it up at the top. Um, it's also in the description as well as in the comment section, and I'll see if I can help. Now, I also have a free live podcast. Uh, you can go to capiche.fm slash ask dash Kristen, that link again on the screen, in the description, and in the comments, and join me for everything credit. And don't forget that I have almost 500 videos right here on YouTube that will show you without a doubt that using factual disputes for credit sweeps will get you better permanent results. So that is it for today from me to you. I hope you have a great evening and a great rest of your week. Have a great one.